coward dies a thousand deaths, a soldier dies with me. Is life so dear and peace so sweet to be purchased by the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. They want to sow the seeds of discontent in the American people to not to run to silver and gold in a safe haven in this upcoming collapse, as they do it themselves. There's an article. What's going on, America? It's your boy Charlie in the box. Check it out. Look at it. What I got in my box this week is going to be. But we keep following politics, America. So let's get this video started. In 1920, we had the first White House Correspondents' Dinner. It falls on the third Saturday of every April, year after year. It was first for the media that were covering the politicians back in the days to set one night aside to have dinner amongst one another and share stories and secrets they had upon the politicians, stories they would have the American people read tomorrow. But in 1924, Calvin Kluge, he said the government needed to get involved. They needed to form some bonds with the media and scratch each other's backs whenever needed. But America would never be the same because the media would never do their jobs again. Now that 2015 has just passed, the New York Post just posted an article. Inside the White House Correspondence Center, a.k.a. Nerd Prom. Your president was hilarious, cracking jokes about everything. Hillary Clinton, the Koch brothers, and even Vice President Joe Biden. But the one that I found disturbing and funny was because there was some truth behind it, is the one that he said about Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. He said, this man is going to run for president? A pot-smoking socialist? That sounds like a third term for Obama after all. Because see, if you would have known the truth about this president before he ever got into office in 2008, if the media would have told you the truth, you would have known he was a pot-smoking socialist. Card-carrying socialist, I mean. Smoky pot, smoky crack, having gay sex and all that. But in America, the media was never going to tell you the truth, but we were too busy following politics. In order to pass legislation upon this nation to play in the American people's emotions, they have an article on the Washington Examiner, Congress. The middle class income drops as immigration surges. But America, your government knew that, did you? And between 1945 and 1970, middle class income for Americans went up. Because the surge of people that were coming into this country, legal and illegally, slowed down. But whenever we have a fluctuation of people trying to come over here and find a better life, it always hurts the average American, the middle class especially. Now they're living paycheck by paycheck. In 1970, we had 9,740,000 of them here in our homeland. Now it's surged over 325%. Today, as of 2015 and counting, we have 41,348,000 and counting. It's never going to slow down. All these people keep coming over here, but they're taking the jobs for the average Americans. The people that just want to provide themselves and not go into government chi chi, it's only hurting us. But America, we keep following politics, right? Now that the presidential race of 2016 has begun, Hillary Clinton has thrown her name in the race. Even though most of the stuff this woman says is a bold-faced lie, she'll get away with it because we continuously follow politics. She says she went under sniper fire over there in Bosnia. A bold-faced lie. She said her daughter was jogging over there on 9-11 at the World Trade Center. It was a bold-faced lie. This woman had no knowledge of her brothers being paid to get pardons by their friends and others and her husband was signing them, and she didn't know no knowledge of it, it's a bold-faced lie. This woman's involvement in the Benghazi attack of maybe Ambassador Stevens and others probably wouldn't have been murdered the way they were. There was an order stand down by the President of the Secretary of State, which at the time was Hillary Clinton. They didn't know any of that shit, and they're not the ones that did it. It's a bold-faced lie. They will continuously get away with it because all we do is follow politics and government. Well, what else did this woman lie about? Well, now that she's running for an office, she just it came out that she paid for 2 million Twitter followers. Hey, it's a bold-faced lie. She don't got the people behind her that's going to help her win the vote. But America, as long as we continuously follow politics, shoot, they're continuously get away with everything. See, they always told the American people not to talk about politics and religion because it starts an argument. Well, it's designed to. You tell a kid not to touch it, what do they do? They touch it, they burn their fingers. Well, let's get past politics because all it does is divide the people. Get back to the country, stuff that we should agree on, that the Bill of Rights are God-given rights and they're non-negotiable and the government can never infringe on them. Get the people back to their faith in God again. Get past religion 
so we can come together as a people. We as Americans have changed the world once and we could do it again. With God on our side and the knowledge of the Constitution in our hands, there's nothing that could defeat us but only ourselves. We as Americans have to stop following politics and get back to our country. So I hope with these videos that people start getting the knowledge of understanding their country a little bit. And that's why I do quotes by our founding fathers. I'm going to start a new segment called Hugs, Human Understanding of God's Spirit, and get the people the knowledge of understanding that God is love, God is true, and God wants the people to repent. And if we have God on our side and the knowledge of the Constitution in our hearts and in our minds, there's nothing that can defeat us but only ourselves. So as long as we as Americans keep following politics, we deserve the tyranny that's at our front door. So if you're not going to do everything in power to destroy your life, liberty, and this country, America, you're going to do everything in power to destroy all three. Try the box out. Stop following politics. Charlie Buzz, baby. So let this get. So let this get. Let's get this video. Let's get this video started. They had one night to have set aside to have dinner with once morning. Blah, blah, blah. To say what stories they're going to have for the American people to read the following day. Because they had a lot of dirt. They held a lot of power back in the days. Because I keep saying day and day after day and day after day. <laughs>